everyone welcome back to my channel it's your girl ray and this is ray's budget guys in today's video we are going to be doing my weekly cash stuffing so if you're interested in checking that out please keep watching okay guys i hope all is well like i stated in today's video we are going to be doing my weekly cash stuffing but before we get into all of that if you are new to my channel hello my name is raquel but please call me ray um just as a FYI, I started this journey over two and a half years ago. During that time, I have paid off five credit cards, one personal loan. I've saved one month ahead on our bills and expenses. And this year, I completed saving for all of our Life Happens funds. Now, I say that because a lot of you have said that you like the fact that I uh, share what my journey has been so far, and I typically don't really do that, but I have received a lot of new people on my channel because as you guys know, we have reached 7,000 plus strong. So I wanted to give just a little brief, um, you know, synopsis of where I have been on my journey so far. On this channel, we do cash stuffings, we save, we pay off debts, and we have a little bit of fun in here and there. So if you are new and you like what you hear, please go ahead and join the family and follow me on my journey. I would really love to have you here. Now, um, guys, like I said, we are going to get to stuff. But guys, let's go ahead and read the inspirational quote of the day. And this states, when you look at people who are successful, you will find that they aren't the people who are motivated, but the ones who have consistency in their motivation guys that is a really good one right there and that makes me think of something that i wanted to tell you guys i really appreciate the fact that a lot of you say that my weekly stuffing videos aren't aren't boring you guys um say that you appreciate my consistency and it helps keep you guys on track as well i always try to remember that when i'm doing my weekly cash stuffings because a lot of times I get demotivated um, with these types of videos because I don't get that many views, but it's you guys that keep me going. Thank you guys so much for your encouragement, for your comments that um, you put out there telling me that you really, really like my videos. Guys, I really appreciate it. So let's go ahead and read, or not read, I'm sorry, but um, see how much we are going to be stuffing into these um envelopes today this is my cash breakdown guys and today we are going to be stuffing 360 dollars so let's go ahead and count it and get it into the cash tray we have 51 20 40 60 82 10 20 30 40 50 60 70 80 90 3 10 20 25 30 35 40 45 50 55 60 so we do have the correct amount let's go ahead and get it into the cash tray Okay, so the first um, envelopes we are going to stuff are my everyday spending envelopes. And for those of you who are new, these are envelopes such as my groceries, gas, um, dining out, different things like that. So basically what I do is I use my credit card. I do not take money out with me. I use my credit card and then whatever I use on my credit card, say for instance, we go to McDonald's or something. I will come back home and pull that money out of my dining out envelope. And then either at the end of the week or the next week, I put that money back in the bank so that I'm, I can make a payment on my credit card. That way I am getting uh, points that I redeem for cash. And that cash, guys, I use at the end of the year or the beginning of the next year to put toward my high priority sinking funds. Um, so what we're going to do really quick is go ahead and unstuff what we have in here. And um, for those of you who are new, what I do is I do a, a savings challenge with the money I have left over. I do not roll it over. When it comes to extra money, I am either, either saving or paying off debt. That's all your girl does. But anyway, let's go ahead and see what we have left. So we do have uh, money left in groceries. I did pretty good. Dining out. I have money left in dining out, spending. I know I didn't spend all my money in spending. Allowance. I spent my money in allowance, guys, of course, right? And then in gas, I have $5 left. So we are going to set this money right here. 
and let's go ahead and get to stuffing this for next week. So today groceries is going to get $140. So we have 51, 20, and 40. Next we have dining out. Dining out is going to be getting its normal $40. 10, oops, 20, 30, 40. Spending is going to get $10. 10. Allowance is going to get $10. 10. And gas is going to get its normal 35, guys. And speaking of gas, 20, 30, 5. I got good news today. Um, the dealership is done with my car. I finally get to pick it up. So I get to pick up my baby tomorrow and return the rental car to the car rental agency. So I am very happy about that. Now, guys, what we're going to do next is move on to my revolving and long-term sinking funds. Okay, guys, this is my revolving and long-term sinking funds binder. So let's go ahead and get to stuffing these and tracking at the same time. So for car maintenance today, we are going to be putting $10 in it. So let's go ahead. Today is the ninth deposit, $10. That should take us to $413 for car maintenance. So 10. We have 1, 2, 3, 50, 70, 90, 100, 10. 11, 12, 13, 413 dollars. So guys, YouTube, YouTube had $60 in it. I took all of the money out of YouTube because I actually used that money to get some um, savings challenges. So today we are going to be depositing $5 into YouTube and that's gonna give us $5 for YouTube. So there we go. And these savings challenges are for you guys. They're not for me, just as an FYI. Um, general funds or my catch-all envelope is going to be getting, let's see, $10 today, I think. Yep, $10. So let's do eight, nine, deposit. 10 so that should take us to 30 and it does and then we are going to skip these next we have moved to my long-term sinking funds guys and the first one is my grandson Elijah and today Elijah will be getting $10 10 so that puts Elijah at 100, 250. That is place, placeholders for money that is in my Ally um, High Yield Savings account for Elijah. So that's 250, 70, 80, 90, 3, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 55, 56. 356 dollars for Elijah. Next we have Nalia. Nalia today will be getting. Five dollars. So now Nalia has 150, 60, 70, 80, 90, 95, 200, 5, 6. 206 for Nalia. And last we have Messiah. And Messiah will be getting five dollars today as well. And that takes Messiah to 150, 60, 70, 80, 90, 95, 3. No, 206 $206 for Messiah. Next, guys, we have my self-care binder. And today, Nails is going to be getting $5. And I haven't really used this envelope in a long time because I do my own nails. So let's go ahead and put deposit five and, oh, you know what? I already wrote that down. So there should be $10 in here, five and 10.
Next we have hair and brows. And I really need to get this one beefed up because I want to get my hair braided again. I'm getting tired of flat ironing it. I don't like putting heat on my hair. Um, but anyway, today, hair and brows is going to be getting $20. And guys, um, what happened? Oh, you know what? It's on the back here. So... Eight, nine, deposit. As most of you know, I um, I do mini savings challenges. And at the end of the month, once I'm done with a lot of them, I'm going to be playing a fun spin the wheel game where we're going to see where my savings is going to go. And my goal is to put it in all of my different sinking funds. So hopefully with some of the money from my savings challenges, I will be able to to beef, beef up the hair and brows. But let's go ahead and add $20 to this. This should take us to 50. We have 20, 40, 50, and it does. I cannot wait till the end of the month so we can do that. It's gonna be fun. Personal Essentials today is gonna be getting $5. So let's do eight, nine, deposit. Five, so this should take us to 35, guys. 20, 30, and 5. Wherever you see red, that's because I took money out of that envelope. Next, we have clothes and shoes. It is not going to be getting anything today. Um, dates today is going to be getting $5. So, 8, 9... Deposit five. So that should take this envelope to $40. 20, 30, 35, 40. Gifts to myself will not be getting anything stuffed in it today. And massages will not be get, getting anything stuffed in it today as well. Okay, guys, next we are going to be addressing a couple of my savings challenges. So let me go to those really quick. So we are not going to be doing roll and scratch this week. Remember, guys, because I am focusing on getting my um, circles of savings done this month. But we will stuff this next week. Um, but what we're going to do first is demolish that debt. And for those of you who are new... This is where I put my leftover money from my everyday spending envelope. So basically with this challenge, any money that I have left over goes to this challenge. And my goal or what I challenge myself to do is by the end of the year, save enough out of my uh, weekly everyday spending to make one principal only mortgage payment. And we are almost there. So what I want to do today is see where we are at. Let's first count up how much we are um, adding to the challenge this week from our last week's stuffing. We have 10, 20, 30, 40, $45. Guys, that is good. I think that's the most I've ever saved, which is awesome. But let's go ahead and add it to what we had from um, the first week. So we have 10, 20, 30, 40, 45, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56. So we have $56, right? So what I want to do, because I didn't do this last week, is take the $56 that we have, add it to the total payments that we've already made, which is $947. That gives me $1,003, guys. So what we're going to do is take that $1,003 and divide it by 32 because that represents how much each of these dollar signs are worth in order for me to reach my overall goal of $1,345. So we're going to take the 1,003, divide that by 32. I am actually able to color in 31 uh, money signs. So we currently have 6, 12, 18, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31. Guys, I get to color in two 
dollar signs, which I think is awesome. So let me get out my pencil and color in two dollar signs really quick. And guys, I love to do this just to um, track my progress and help to motivate me to keep going. Because as you guys can see, your girl is almost done with this tracker, which means we are almost at the go, which I think is awesome. So let's go ahead and put this back in here really quick. And let me go ahead and move this off to the side because I'm done with it. And let me go ahead and get out my circle of savings. And guys, this week I am excited because um, I thought I was only going to be able to stuff this challenge with $25, but I'm actually able to stuff it with $45. So today we are going to stuff the, a $10 slot, a $15 slot, and a $20 slot. So let me set this up here so it can dry. So let's go ahead and look for the $5 slot first, which I think is toward the back. Because remember, I'm almost done. So, okay, here we go. Five. And then we have 10. Okay, why do I have $10 left? I swear I always do this. 10. That 20 is already stuffed. So remember I told you guys there's a 20 up toward the front that I did not stuff. That's not it. Here it is right here. So let's go ahead and put this 20 in. And guys, I have no idea where that 10 goes. So you know what we're going to do? I think I pulled out too much. We are going to go ahead and put that in this challenge as well. So let's go back. This last 10 should be in the back since that is my last 10 that I have to stuff. No. Here it is right here. Look, I'm just telling myself, Raquel, I just know when you unstuff this challenge, you better have $300 because that is the goal. So I should only have a 5 and a 15 left. So there's the 15. And... Oh, well, I will figure it out. Maybe I did not track one of my stuffings when it comes to the $5 bill. But let's go ahead and put this back here. I will check it off camera. If that is the case, guys, I will actually be done with this next week anyway. And all I will have to stuff is the $15. So, and we will be done with it. But guys, that is going to do it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a thumbs up, comment below. If you're new to my channel and you like what you see, please make sure you hit the subscribe button before you leave because I would really love to have you here as part of the family. Guys, I will see you in my next video. Have a great rest of your week. God bless. Bye, guys.